Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, much emphasis and priority has been placed on the development and delivery of a vaccine. But what exactly is the science behind vaccines and how they work? Most vaccines contain the same germs that cause disease, but they have been either killed or weakened to the point that they don't make you sick. For example, the measles vaccine actually contains the measles virus. Some vaccines contain only a part of the disease germ. COVID-19 messenger, RNA, mRNA, vaccines are a new type of vaccine to protect against infectious diseases, do not contain a live virus, and do not carry a risk of causing disease in the vaccinated person. All vaccines stimulate your immune system to produce antibodies, exactly like it would if you were exposed to the disease. After getting vaccinated, you develop immunity to the disease without having to get the disease first. This is what makes vaccines such powerful medicine. Unlike most medicines, which treat or cure diseases, vaccines can prevent them. By the end of this course, you will be able to determine the role of antibodies in the immune system, identify the characteristics of a vaccine, and explain the benefits of herd immunity. The body has many ways of defending itself against pathogens or disease-causing organisms, skin, mucus, and cilia, which are microscopic hairs that move debris away from the lungs, all work as physical barriers to prevent pathogens from entering the body in the first place. When a pathogen does infect the body, our body's defenses called the immune system are triggered, and the pathogen is attacked and destroyed or overcome. A pathogen is a bacterium, virus, parasite, or fungus that can cause disease within the body. Each pathogen is made up of several subparts, usually unique to that specific pathogen and the disease it causes. The subpart of a pathogen that causes the formation of antibodies is called an antigen. The antibodies produced in response to the pathogen's antigen are an important part of the immune system. You can consider antibodies as the soldiers in your body's defense system. Each antibody, or soldier, in our system is trained to recognize one specific antigen. We have thousands of different antibodies in our bodies. When the human body is exposed to an antigen for the first time, it takes time for the immune system to respond and produce antibodies specific to that antigen. In the meantime, the person is susceptible to becoming ill. Most vaccines contain weakened or inactive parts of a particular organism or antigen that triggers an immune response within the body. Newer vaccines contain the blueprint for producing antigens rather than the antigen itself. Regardless of whether the vaccine is made up of the antigen itself or blueprint so that the body will produce the antigen, this weakened version will not cause the disease in the person receiving the vaccine, but it will prompt their immune system to respond much as it would have on its first reaction to the actual pathogen. Some vaccines require multiple doses. This is sometimes needed to allow for the production of long-lived antibodies and development of memory cells. In this way, the body is trained to fight the specific disease-causing organism, building up memory of the pathogen so as to rapidly fight if and when exposed in the future. mRNA vaccines are a new type of vaccine to protect against infectious diseases. To trigger an immune response instead of putting a weakened or inactivated germ into our bodies, mRNA vaccines teach our cells how to make a protein or even just a piece of a protein that triggers an immune response inside our bodies. That immune response, which produces antibodies, is what protects us from getting infected if the real virus enters our bodies. COVID-19 mRNA vaccines give instructions for our cells to make a harmless piece of what is called the spike protein. The spike protein is found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19. COVID-19 mRNA vaccines are given in the upper arm muscle. 
Once the instructions, mRNA, are inside the muscle cells, the cells use them to make the protein piece. After the protein piece is made, the cell breaks down the instructions and gets rid of them. Next, the cell displays the protein piece on its surface. Our immune systems recognize the protein doesn't belong there and begins building an immune response and making antibodies, like what happens in the natural infection against COVID-19. At the end of the process, our bodies have learned how to protect against future infection. The benefits of mRNA vaccines, like all vaccines, is that those vaccinated gain this protection without ever having to risk the serious consequences of getting sick with COVID-19. When someone is vaccinated, they're very likely to be protected against the targeted disease, but not everyone can be vaccinated. People with underlying health conditions that weaken their immune systems, such as cancer or HIV, or have severe allergies to some vaccine components, may not be able to get vaccinated with certain vaccines. These people can still be protected if they live in and amongst others who are vaccinated. When a lot of people in a community are vaccinated, the pathogen has a hard time circulating because most of the people it encounters are immune. So the more that others are vaccinated, the less likely people who are unable to be protected by vaccines are at risk of even being exposed to the harmful pathogens. This is called herd immunity. This is especially important for those people who not only can't be vaccinated, but may be more susceptible to the diseases we vaccinate against. No single vaccine provides 100% protection, and herd immunity does not provide full protection to those who cannot safely be vaccinated. But with herd immunity, these people will have substantial protection thanks to those around them being vaccinated. Vaccinating not only protects yourself, but also protects those in the community who are unable to be vaccinated. Most vaccines contain weakened or inactive parts of a particular organism or antigen that triggers an immune response within the body. This weakened version will not cause the disease in the person receiving the vaccine, but it will prompt their immune system to respond much as it would have on its first reaction to the actual pathogen. mRNA vaccines are a new type of vaccine to protect against infectious diseases. They teach our cells how to make a protein or even just a piece of a protein that triggers an immune response inside our bodies. That immune response, which produces antibodies, is what protects us from getting infected if the real virus enters our bodies. When a lot of people in a community are vaccinated, the pathogen has a hard time circulating because most of the people it encounters are immune. With this scientific information in hand, each individual should decide their own approach to vaccinations, including the COVID-19 vaccine unless otherwise specified as a requirement of a term of their employment or other mandate.